Hey everybody, it's Jay, and Misha has asked me to do a range video on the Breda Model 81. He recently did a pretty comprehensive history video on the development of the Model 81, so I'm not going to retread any of the information he's already gone over, but he asked me to take it out to the range, put some rounds through it, and then give my impressions. So the Breda Model 81 is in 32 ACP, feeds from double stacked magazines, and we're both big Beretta fans in general, especially the 92 series. And the 81 is effectively just a scaled down 92, and, but in 32 ACP. We're also big 32 ACP fans, and the cartridge is quite diminutive, but is also extremely fun to shoot. So say what you will about the defensive capabilities and the power potential and all that stuff, it's still a really fun cartridge to shoot. And it's something that you don't see a whole lot of in the modern age. The 81 carries over a lot of the 92's best qualities. Very, very smooth action and a generally pretty good trigger. While the double action is kind of heavy, the single action is quite a nice, crisp 4.5 pounds, at least on my trigger scale with this particular example. Now, one challenge that you may have out the gate, at least I did on this early Model 81 example, is the sights are pretty small, much like the cartridge and the gun itself and were a little bit challenging for me to pick up whenever I was shooting it out in lower light conditions late in the evening on an overcast day. I started off shooting PMC bronze ammunition in 32 ACP and was shooting at about five to seven yards, and for the life of me, could not hit a clay target. I was hitting about a foot high, and about three to six inches left, occasionally just that much to the right, and I seemed to be hitting everywhere but where the sights were actually pointing. And this is pretty different than the experiences that I've seen from other gun YouTube channels. I went ahead and looked at some other people's reviews to see if they had any similar experiences, and for the most part, their experiences are overwhelmingly positive with the 81, both from an accuracy and a function standpoint. So I was a little bit disheartened. This Model 81 came from the Italian penal system, so it is definitely surplus and has some rounds down the, the barrel, presumably already, before it got to me, and some use. But based on how poorly I was hitting with it, and the extreme lack of accuracy, I knew something had to be wrong. Another aspect that kind of took me off guard is the fact that the magazines, both the factory that came with the gun and then the factory OEM replacement that I purchased brand new from Beretta, seem to be extremely unreliable. Even with the magazine loader, they are really difficult to load and would frequently basically nosedive in the body of the magazine, which resulted in failures to feed. And it was so catastrophic at one point that I had to actually pull the magazine out and take the follower off, correction, the floor plate off, in order to clear the malfunction. Thankfully, I had some PPU ammo. I put about 200 rounds through the PMC and had consistently the same issues. But when I switched over to the PPU, I was suddenly hitting exactly where I was aiming and was able to basically hit clay targets as fast as I was able to get the sights on them consistently at anywhere from 5 to 10 yards. My groups also averaged at 10 yards around 2 inches, which is pretty good for a tiny little 32 auto. The magazine issues also evaporated after switching to the PPU, so I think all of my problems were ex expressly ammunition related, which if you've had problems or if you've had no problems at all with PMC bronze, good for you. I'm glad that it's worked for you, but for some reason, this gun does not seem to like that ammunition. I have had issues with PMC Bronze before with reliability, specifically with the 223, so I don't think I'll be buying any more myself. And I've ordered some more PPU to go along with this Beretta 32. I did shoot about 400 rounds over the course of the week, about 200 each PMC Bronze and the PPU, and the PPU was a lot of fun to shoot in this gun. So at the end of the day, the gun has a very nice trigger. It's very light recoiling because of the caliber and frankly seems almost overbuilt for 32. It still has the same fit and finish and feel as a full-size Beretta, but in a much lighter recoiling 32 caliber. 
so as a surplus gun that can be found generally pretty inexpensively as we're recording this in five or ten years you probably won't be able to find them for the prices they're going for now it seems almost like a no-brainer frankly so overall extremely positive experience using the right ammunition for it and it's something that i look forward to putting many hundreds of rounds through down the road be sure to go check out our backlog especially the other beretta videos that we've done we've got them in a playlist for easy browsing and if you're interested in helping support us, please go check out our Patreon page in the description below. This is Jay, and I will see you again soon next time.